Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming release of Rise of Iron, the newest expansion for Destiny. If you guys haven't been really into the loop lately, obviously this expansion has been it's been out there in a while for a good long while now. I, I can't remember exactly when they announced it, but they announced it I think before summer if I'm not mistaken. So it's actually, we've been known that it's coming for a while. I don't think this was initially, it was initially planned. I think this is one of those things that happened because Destiny 2 got pushed back a year. I mean, I'm not going to complain because honestly, I'm super, super excited for the direction Rise of Iron looks like it's taking. I'm hoping for just an incredible story. I was actually kind of, in a sense of Destiny, I was blown away by the story in The Taken King. It was something new, fresh, and just the very first story mission in that game. Or that expansion was just the, 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 like the climax, I think, of any story mission in Destiny so far. Just because it was mysterious, it felt like something really brand new. It felt like there was something that was really threatening about to happen. You know, you kind of got that feeling of dread and just good stuff like that. That's I, I like feeling that in the game like that. Moving on, the story basically for this is Lord Saladin, who hosts the Iron Banner every month, is returning to Felt Winter Peak, and it's going to be the new social space where all this stuff happens. And the very first mission actually is you reclaiming the the peak and getting a new social space and you know good stuff like that. So it's very really going to be interesting. But the story is there's this technical plague that's been locked away during the Golden Age, and all the the rest of the Iron Lords at the time sacrificed themselves to lock it away, and now it's bad because the House of Devils have been digging in the Cosmodrome for this stuff, or, or, or they've been looking for a weapon to fight the Guardians back, because obviously, you know, they haven't done so well so far, because every, they've been losing, obviously. I mean, they've been trying to get the Traveler back, and obviously they haven't done that. So they've been digging for a weapon, and this is the weapon they found. So they've been, the new enemies are called Splicer, I mean, technically they're still Fallen, but they're, they're called Splicers, because they've been splicing Siva, which is the new, which is the plague into their bodies, into their servitors, into their weapons, machines, walkers, anything like that to make them stronger, make them deadlier, basically. Anything that will help them in the fight against us. So with that comes just a new bunch of enemies. I, I don't want to say new type, but it's kind of a new type. So that's the story is those, they've been splicing this into their bodies. They're kind of like cyborgs now. And we have to defeat them, obviously, because, you know, See, it was a big bad thing, because it spreads, it can spread like wildfire, I think, is the gist that they want to get. Uh, some people on the subreddit have implied they uh, the the final raid boss, or boss is, for the Wrath of Machine, is going to be the Corrupted Iron Lords, which would be very interesting, but it's also, I guess, like a passing of the torch kind of thing, if that happens, because we're kind of put them out of their misery, and we become Iron Lords ourselves. I think that's, that's the main theme. Lord Salon is the last of the Iron Lords, so I think I think he wants some help. During this weekend, it's actually kind of been really exciting. I mean, they, I don't want to say release, but they introduced a buff, uh, well, actually five buffs, technically, that are kind of mysterious. But let's be honest, it's definitely related to SIVA and Rise of Iron, because there's no way this wouldn't have happened just the weekend before the launch of Rise of Iron. One of the exciting things is, is it's, <laughs> allowed me at least to rank up my factions my weapons stuff like that because it gives you an XP boost and a reputation boost And I think they stack the more you have so I have two of them. There's five total Unfortunately the way you get them is you have to be infected by another guardian And if you already have one of them one or two, you know, whatever it whatever you have now is whatever you're gonna have Forever well until at least they disappear and go away because you cannot contract, you know more once you already have that first instance of getting one, two, three, four, whatever you get, which is actually kind of disappointing. I found that out after I have gotten two already. If I known, I probably would have waited. I mean, I got two fresh characters I can do it on, but, but I'm just worrying about my Titan at the moment. So there's that. Since the last update, they've kind of messed up the Ingram drop rate. If you play right now, you're going to get tons of, bl of greens and blues. Like the occasional purple, obviously. You can get just tons of armor materials from that, weapon parts, you know, glimmer, you can get bunch of life from that. So you can really stock up in preparation of Rise of Iron, which is going to be something that a lot of people are going to 
be doing if they haven't been doing that already. A couple of my friends have stored up engrams for the last, like, maybe week, week two, you know. They've been doing that for a while, and I probably should have listened a little more, because so far, the only thing I have saved up is one legendary class engram, because I'm waiting to purchase one of those old marks that Lord Salton will sell in Fellwitter Peak, and I'm just, that's the only preparation when it comes to engrams so far, so I'm a little bit behind. But if you guys haven't, if you guys are looking forward to Rise of Iron as much as I am, I will have some videos up the day after. I do hope I can record and render out all five story missions in the first day so I can get that done, have videos up for you guys the second day it comes out. Yeah, that's my plan so far. I'm, hopefully, I might get some Let's Plays done also, or like the new strikes and stuff. We'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in Rise of Iron.